the only reason I'm doing this video is because there's another YouTube channel which suggested that the only way to unlock the full BT2020 potential on an LG CX or C10 OLED is by engaging BT2020 in this secret menu. I'm going to demonstrate the effects of doing so using real-world content in this video. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I have two calibrated CX or C10 OLED here, displaying the 1080p Blu-ray of Skyfall. And if you remember my unboxing video of the LG CX from last year, what this will do is to unlock this secret HDMI override submenu. What this allows you to do is to force a certain color space or force a certain electro-optical transfer function on the incoming video signal regardless of the source. So this would be extremely helpful for especially professional colorists or professional users. I gave some instructions on how to access the secret HDMI signaling override menu on this TV and I'm going to summon it on both televisions I have here. So if you can bear with me for a while. Basically, you need to hover over picture mode settings and then press a secret combination of code on your remote control. And what I'm going to do is to show you the effects of engaging BT2020. So let's say if I can put this to BT2020, you can see that Daniel Craig's face, you know, it's overly red now and the whole background becomes quite luminous and glowy and this is certainly deviating from the creator's intent. If we again, you know, go back to auto, you can see that, you know, his face returns to as normal as it can look under this sort of lighting and the background looks more balanced. And again, I'll show you again, the BT2020 is definitely deviating from the creator's intent. And if I can actually pull up these charts that I've measured in Kalman, if you feed a uh, Rec 709 content, the screen that is set to colorimetry auto will be tracking the Rec 709 color space in a very accurate manner. But once you engage BT2020, what the TV will be doing is to force BT2020 color space onto even Rec 709 content, causing severely inaccurate colors. What I'm going to do next is to swap to another disk called Samsara and show you further effects of this. So now I'm playing the Blu-ray of Samsara. Again, this is 1080p SDR, and I'm showing the face of this lady here. Again, on the screen on your right, if I engage PT2020, you can see that her face becomes lobster-like sunburned because you know there is just too much red to be pushed through by forcing a BT2020 color space onto a Rec 709 content. And if I can turn my attention to another part of the disc, and here we have a group of monks, you know, working on the Sand Mandala. And if I set colorimetry to BT2020 on the screen on your right, you can see that the red ropes on these monks turn very, very bright, you know, they are bright red and certainly deviating from the artistic intent of the movie. Also, you can begin to see that the texture on this gentleman's rope here starts to clip. So let me try and go back to auto and go to BT2020 again. You can see that, you know, the texture and the furriness of the rope begins to disappear with such a luminous red that is being injected into the movie unnecessarily, which is certainly not what the filmmaker intended. And next, what we're going to do is to investigate the claim that engaging BT2020 in this secret HDMI signaling override submenu is necessary to unlock the full BT2020 potential on this TV. So here I'm displaying one of the more colorful scenes in the 4K Blu-ray of Planet Earth 2. This is one of the few discs that I've found to have outside of P3 colors. And what I'm going to do is to set the LG CX on your right to force BT2020 all the time. And then on the display on your left, I'm going to leave the colorimetry at auto. 
and we are going to get out from this secret menu. I can see that there is no difference in color at all. And if I can actually summon the information about the video signal that is being detected by the screen, you can see that it is obviously detecting it as BT2020 here, but on the screen on your left where colorimetry is set to auto, it is also being detected as BT2020. So what this means is that the TV will automatically be detecting the info frame that is embedded within the HDR content itself. And if it is a BT2020 info frame, the TV will be automatically switching to BT2020 colors without needing you to force it through the HDMI signaling override submenu. So let's go into the submenu again, and then I'll show you that there is no difference whatsoever if you switch between BT2020 and Auto because the underlying info frame that is contained within the HDR signal is BT2020 anyway. And so the TV will automatically switch to BT2020 to render the colors accurately without you needing to force BT2020 through this HDMI signaling override submenu. So the lesson of the day is that basically just leave colorimetry at auto because if you force BT2020 using this menu, you will cause SDR content to look very inaccurate and you don't need to engage BT2020 to unlock the full BT2020 potential on the LG CX or C10 OLED anyway because the TV will be detecting the correct info frame in the video signal itself and it will do it automatically as long as you set colorimetry to auto. The thing with YouTube is that you know anyone can pick up a camera, make a few videos and then accumulate some subscribers and make people believe what they say. But what I wanted to do in this video is to dispel some misinformation using objective charts and also real world content. And as far as my credentials go, I have over the years accumulated tens of thousands of pounds worth of calibration equipment and I have spent extensive time with reference broadcast monitors, so I know what a reference image should look like. I'm also ISF certified and had been calibrating professionally for domestic and professional clients until I stopped because of the pandemic. So hopefully you will believe what I say over some other YouTube channels. If you would like to watch more of our technical OLED TV comparisons, I created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.